I've spent the last three days in Barcelona and I've kind of relaxed for most of them. I think I was just overwhelmed. Close your eyes. Literally this park behind me is just full of gum trees. I need the confidence to be able to talk without <laughs> feeling judged by the people walking past. This maybe really isn't the best spot. But there's gum trees! <laughs> Spain just feels like home sometimes. We're in Spain. Why are there gum trees here? It's so cold. That's the camera to record. Yesterday I went hiking with friends of friends who live in Barcelona and it was the best day ever. Their family is so sweet and I loved their kids so much and I had such a fun time hiking. It was just a great day. But today I am leaving Spain and heading to Andorra. So time for a new adventure. I should have left way earlier. I was so, so stressed trying to get here on time. But I have 15 minutes and I finally found the right spot, so I was getting a bit stressed hiking all over the country trying to find out where I was supposed to be to catch this bloody bus, but it's done. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. Calm your soul. I started filming this and then I realised my microphone was pointing in the wrong direction. Anyway, I had a very nice bus um, journey from Barcelona to Andorra and I got here but I'm staying in a hostel in a smaller town outside the main area where I got dropped off I, but I couldn't find where the local bus left from and so I asked this lovely lady and she pointed to me in the right direction and then I waited 20 minutes <laughs> for the bus to come only to learn that you have to pay cash and I didn't have any cash <laughs> so I went to a little cafe instead and had some lunch and exchanged some money and then came to this smaller town on the bus but because I did that I got here at 1 30 and I didn't realize but the hostel reception shuts from 1 to 6 <laughs> so I got here just after reception closed so I couldn't check in so I just came down into the public area of the hostel and just spent the afternoon planning the next few days of my trip and booking all the things I need for Italy and editing videos and it's almost six now and I've been busy since I got here. I enjoyed Barcelona a lot but I didn't really experience the city. I feel like I was in a rather quiet hostel and I kind of just used the last few days to chill out a little bit but <laughs> actually I didn't because I've been making like these little short um, videos over the last few days which has been so much fun but it's also a lot of work so but I'm ready to meet some people so I hope this hostel is social. This hostel has this cute little upstairs area. <laughs> it's a very empty hotel there's no one here. This would be a lot of fun if it was like full of different people doing different things but <laughs> Oh my head. It's so beautiful. I know it hurts. It wasn't fair. I've been hiking so much recently here and it's just uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I mean, you're in your own little world, you're thinking and almost meditating, just watching where you're placing your feet and going in between trees and then you'll just stop and look around and be like, wow. The world's beautiful. We're gonna be okay before the blue skies way too gray. We're gonna be okay. 
It took me a minute to notice all the tennis balls on all of the chairs. <laughs> So I was going to go to the famous like spa and pools here, that building right there. But I didn't book in advance and the only time available is at 7pm tonight. Which would be fine, but you get three hours there. And I have to catch a bus back to the little village I'm staying in. And that last bus leaves at 10. So I would get less than three hours, like a lot less, because the bus stop isn't close to the pool line either. And it's expensive and I don't want to get stuck in and or away from my hostel at night. So just hanging out at a park instead. It was okay. I saved myself a lot of money because it is expensive. Silly, silly, silly me. Should have booked it. Never mind. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to go, and I guess that decision has been made for me. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. Okay, I just realized something pretty cool about this hostel. This switch turns this light on. But the one next to it turns the main lights on. I think it's great. I think it's so useful. No, now I'm scared that I'll accidentally turn it on in the middle of the night and blind everyone. Could go out, we're gonna be 